and division. Let me show you how you win this game. First, it asks you what your grid level is, and it also tells you answer a non-zero value, which means it's a value that's not zero. But let me show you what happens when you type zero. It says, please don't answer zero. Please enter a valid integer. What's your grid level? Well then, I'm just gonna do it again. Let me say it's four. Yay! Start asking me questions. Now let me do this one on paper. 45 multiply by 30. Let's see what it is. Run, cat, run! Run, cat, run! <laughs> now this one is one. Uh, that was my dog, and she's loud, and I think I can believe she's telling me the answer in dog language. I wish I could understand her. These math problems are hard. Oh, yeah, right. I could just answer that. 17 times 36. Okay, without any further ado, let's go code the game! So first, let's choose a sprite. I chose a cat sprite, and I also made a mistake sprite. Let's also make the backdrop, which is basically the ground, a tree, a ladder, and an apple. I'm gonna add some background music, which is from the Scratch Music Library. And then, we're gonna say one star, our cat is gonna teleport to the spawning position. Then it's gonna switch the backdrop to backdrop one, which is basically this backdrop I'm talking about. Then it's gonna ask what grid level are you in, answer a non-zero value. This code below is gonna prevent anybody from typing a non-zero value or a value that's not an integer. So that's when it says set the input to floor of answer. Floor basically means that it's gonna round everything down. Basically 4.9 will go down to four. 4.8 will go down to four. 4.78 will go back to four. And it's gonna repeat until not, the input is not equivalent to zero. It's gonna ask again, please, because this thing inside of this this answer is going to be zero. That's why you're in the loop. So that means it's going to say, please don't answer zero. Please answer a valid integer. What grade level are you in? And it's going to set the input to the floor of answer again. Now we're going to set the grade to input multiplied by 12. So I'm going to go to the spawning position again. And it's going to set num1 and num2 to random numbers. It's going to show. Now, we're entering the mess of loops. Our first loop is the forever loop. It lasts forever through all our code. Then, here's our first repeat five loop, which is for multiplication. And we're setting num1 and num2 to random numbers. Now let's ask, we're joining what's with num1 and a multiplication sign and num2 and a question mark. So let me teach you a fun fact. Encoding strings are words, words, and then integers are numbers. So basically this pattern right now, string, integer, string, integer, string. These are technically variables, but these variables contain integers. Now if 
the answer is equivalent to num2 multiplied by num1, then you got it right. And you're also a genius. So, if you got it correct, you can start climbing that ladder if your position is over 170, which means you already walked past the ladder or are currently touching the ladder, which means you're gonna play Alpha Swing Bright, which is totally cheerful. And also, we're gonna start moving upwards. The other side, we're gonna play cheer because we're lower than 170, we're just gonna walk on the grass. Else, you got it incorrect. So it's gonna play alpha string, which is way less cheerful than alpha string bright. And it's gonna start moving backwards and falling down the ladder and all that big process. And then, if you got, you're still less than 170 and you're on the grass, you're gonna play sound boop, bing, bop, and you're gonna move backwards. You're also gonna broadcast the wrong. Now I repeat 10 times, next costume change x by negative seven, which means you're technically walking backwards. But, and then we're gonna tell us what the answer. We're gonna say, sorry, it was num one multiplied by num two. Great, we're moving fast. Let's do the division one. So we're gonna set the num one and num two to random numbers, one to grade. Like here comes the third one, ants. Ants is equivalent to num one multiplied by num two. But then you might be asking, why are we doing num one multiplied by num two? Well, cause we're gonna use the opposite of that. We're actually using answer divided by num two to get num one. And if the answer is equivalent to num one, then that means you got it correct. And if 170, is smaller than our position, and that means we're gonna play Alpha String Bright again and start climbing up. Else, we're gonna start down cheer. Does this seem familiar? That's because we got the same thing in multiplication. But the only difference is that when we're checking, we're gonna say, sorry, it was num one, or sorry, it was num one. Oh wow, we're almost done with the cat. We have one more script of code. When we're touching the apple, we're gonna hide. And broadcast, you win. You win's fun. And this, this is just a simple thing. It's just the front page so that when you click the stop sign, this is gonna happen. This. And the mistake, whenever you receive wrong, it's gonna show with the front layer, wait five seconds and hide. We're done. Now we need this. When it receives you win, we're gonna switch the backdrop to the you win backdrop. Okay. We're done with this already. So thank you for watching and good job on coding this game. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.